Do you get diarrhea during your periods? Your stool is perfectly normal. But when your periods start, you start diarrheaing. Like, I have these weird pains, serious cramps, cravings, and now a diarrhea. Like, really? Today, I will be answering your most asked questions concerning periods. And I come bearing gifts. You just need to keep watching to find out what Dr. Raisha is giving you today. Hello, guys. My name is Dr. Raisha. And this is the fertility series with none other than dr raisha and today i am answering your most asked period questions i did a video on the period blood colors and i got many many questions from women wondering whether some things that happen during their periods are normal or not and why exactly they occur the first weird thing that you may notice is weird pain or pain in weird areas such as the groin the thighs the legs or the back one of you made this comment and women were commenting about how they experience leg pain during their periods. We call this referred pain. Referred pain occurs when pain starts at a certain location, but it is felt in a different location. Like the pain is here, but I am feeling it here. This happens due to the way the nerves in the body are interconnected and how the brain interprets this signals. Now the uterus is supplied by nerves that originate from the spinal segment that is T10 to L1. Too much biology but you signed up for this class so these nerves also supply the lower back and the thighs. So when the uterus contracts or experiences pain now the signals travel through these nerves in this region and since the nerves supply the back, the thigh, the groin, the pain is also felt in these areas. The second thing is period poops. Do you get diarrhea during your periods? Your stool is perfectly normal but when your periods start you start diarrheaing. Like I have these weird pains serious cramps, cravings, and now a diarrhea? Like, really? Now, when you are on your periods, there is increased production of prostaglandins. Now, these guys are actually responsible for the pain that is experienced during periods. This is because they increase the contractions of the uterine muscles in a bid to expel the blood. And these contractions now lead to to pain. These guys also go and stimulate the intestines, increasing the bowel movements. Now the food is moving too fast, hence less water is getting absorbed and instead of a compact stool, we get watery stool. Fun fact, these prostaglandins can also cause the contraction of anus sphincters, that is the muscles of the anus, leading to pain in the butt and this is what we call butt cramps. If this happens too often, you need to see your doctor cause it could point to other conditions such as endometriosis. Another thing is vaginal yeast infections. Now, this affects a lot of women. The vagina has an acidic pH of around 3, but the period blood has a neutral pH of around 7. And during your periods, blood is passing through the vagina, hence making the vaginal pH less acidic. Now, I have so many videos about vaginas, and I have always told you guys that we have some bacteria and fungi that live there but in small amounts now when the environment is less acidic now these organisms thrive and overgrow now they come out to play and have fun if it is the bacteria that overgrow then you get bacterial vaginosis and you may notice a fishy odor and if it is the fungi that overgrow you get vaginal yeast infection but after your periods the ph is back to normal and the party is over then they're like Till next time, muchachos, see you next month. You might ask me, how do I treat it? You need to visit your doctor for medication. But in most women, it clears on its own. So unless you want to be taking medication every month, every month. And now, I told you I have something for you. We have a vaginal health workshop coming up. Are you struggling with stubborn, recurring vaginal yeast infections and bacterial vaginosis? You have this fishy odor that doesn't want to go away. You want to learn how to maintain your vaginal health, including expert advice and feminine hygiene tips. Then this workshop is for you. And guess what? 
it is completely free and it will be on the 31st of this august so don't wait any longer click the link on my description box and register now the seats are limited and you don't want to miss back to the video Another weird thing during your periods is period clots. This is basically chunks of the endometrial lining shedding and it is actually normal. Clots can form when you are sitting or lying and the blood pools inside the vagina and the platelets come in and cause clotting of this blood. Again, this is normal. But if you notice, very huge clots often accompanied by very heavy bleeding or too much pain, please, you need to visit your doctor. Another thing is high sex drive. Some women have actually confessed that they feel dramatically horny. Should I use that word? During their periods. Now, this is due to the hormonal shifts during this time. Also, some people say that there is an increased flow of blood to the genitals, hence increased sensitivity in this area. But one thing I know for sure is that most women like having sex during this time because of the belief that you can't get pregnant while on your periods. You get that? You can't get pregnant while on your periods. My dear, I have made a very detailed video on this and you need to head over there and watch it it is very possible to get pregnant while on your periods so you will need to make sure that you use contraception and that your contraception is airtight if you are having sex during this period now to understand the different period blood colors pink red brown black and what they mean i am going to leave that video over there but don't click on it just yet make sure to subscribe if you want to learn more with Dr. Raisha. Okay, see you over there.